this team composition, the Shirima, the, the Shirima walls are so valuable against Sandboxes. And now Sandbox is going to respond uh, with the last pick of Silas, and that's going to be in the mid lane. And this matchup can get a little bit rough. If you're really on point with Silas, obviously it can be... Oh, okay, but it's going to wow. go. Yeah, Clint, very aggressive here, going to lay down that red smite, but it's three on two for now, but wait for the Tara. Can they save this? Edwani with the heals coming in. It looks like they will extend her life, but what does this mean for the rest of the Sandbox as the kill is going to go the way onto the Silas. Now Summon in a bit of trouble here as finally that Tarek ultimate going to come in, but the Ezreal not around, although Root is. So now it's a four on three as Rascal's just going in there. He's going to trade one for one which is actually more than Denji could have expected in a four versus three kind of fight there. Ultimate uh, almost available punch, jumping in on Clid, and yeah. Dove is going to whip. Dove does whip, but Clid at the same time going over the wall, and wow, no flash here out of Dove. He's just going to Kingslayer and try to get out of this one, but he doesn't even flash there as he thinks he's safe. Now he's going to try to flash, but Rascal is right behind him, so... Now with no flash available, he's just going to die as he saved it for too long and then didn't have it when he needed it after using it. Sometimes they call it real life or something. It's some new game. It's outside the game. But uh, we, do have a, we do have an engage here. I'm not sure why Sandbox thought they could take this. I, I suppose without vision, they decided to go for a risk and hope that Gen G weren't here, but uh, they absolutely were as the rotation was already coming up towards the top side. Going around for a flame. And this is where Nar can end up working against his team. He stacks so much bonus uh -oh. AP. <laughs> well, that's going to be a couple of flashes already, and we haven't even gotten to the Cosmic Radiance as it is going to come down. No deaths just yet, but they are coming as swept up is the Jarvan. And you do see the Ezreal here, the Ruler, having a bit of trouble against Silas. He is a, a nasty fellow in the mid lane, but oh. sniped by Ruler, just showing off his stuff here in game number one. That is going to be the clean ace, as nobody on the side of Gen Z will die. Ruler will pick up the triple kill, and Gen Z should sail on. As Gen Z are just trying to raise the top there. Okay. okay. They're going to kill Kellen. All right. Cosmic Radiant's not going to fall. And uh, now, yeah, it's going to flash away. Dove, Root, and Punch are all extremely low. They're just going to leave Summit by the wayside. Yumi is going to get off the ship. She says, get me out of here. <laughs> how about, how about a 3v5? Uh, all right. Five. How about a... <laughs> well. Oh, uh, well, that was... I don't know about that direction. Oh, Yumi. Yumi... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and BDG didn't even get another kill. Wow. Ruler's yeah. hogging all the kills. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. One zero, one zero. Maybe it can be a couple of back-to-back -back 10,000 gold leads at the early 20-minute mark. Yeah. Which is very uncharacteristic of the literally can't kill region. Except this time, all the kills are on one team. And, yeah. uh, yeah, Punch is, is going to nearly go down. Kellen, here, you can see he's super low, but this time the Cosmic Radiance is going to land. And this plane is going to land at Sandbox Airport, picking up the passengers. The victory will come in, as it looks like 21 kills, maybe 22, if they can get in there and kill Summit. We'll see exactly how aggressive they like to get. We know that... Uh, players like to boost their stats here. So they're going to give it over to the Ezreal. Not giving it to BDD makes me a little bit triggered. But the game number one will go the way of Gen G in extremely one-sided fashion. Away.